Hey guys, it's Anya. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am here today to share my weekly empties. I have a whole basket here. This is like, I don't know, you run of the mill. I always call this like my Red Riding Hood basket or a really, it would be a really good garden basket. I don't know. Um, I, but anyway, so I'm here today to share what I've gotten through in the last, last week. I'm filming this on Sunday. This is going to be, this is the t 19th. I don't know what day it is. Also, excuse the wrinkly shirt and the no makeup. Um, I decided to take a break from packing orders from my opening on Friday, which if you placed an order or I still am so thankful for any and all of you who took a chance on some handcrafted things and I I have had so much joy packing the, my little creations into boxes and getting them ready for their new homes like it's just been so much fun um I have back boxes up here on top of this shelf I have some sitting right here I have two sitting on my desk that are awaiting their shipping labels and I still have at least a dozen or 15 more orders to pack as of right now. So super excited, super thankful, and so appreciative of every single one. So I am enough babbling about that. Just wanted to put that in there. <laughs> um, anywho, so let's get into what I have gotten through. And I suggest you grab a snack and a drink and get cozy because we're going to be here for a hot minute. All right, so first things first, I don't have these sorted because that's just, I'm just not that, my brain is fried. So we're just gonna wing it as far as sorting. Um, I have finished off three bags of the Jumbo Cotton Equate brand from Walmart. Um, one of them is from my bedroom and I still have like, like my little dishes, or it's like a little tin basket. It's about like halfway full. So I still have some, just not a lot, but until I can acquire some more, I will be doing the hot pour method and just take either my Sensi spatula and wipe out the residue or use a cotton ball just after the pour out and that doesn't, it saves on cotton. So, anywho. Um, I think I have one, not two, two non-wax items. Both of them are Scentsy. Um, first one here is a hand soap in Bright Cider Life. I just recently got this in the clearance section. I don't know if it's still available, um, but the notes on this are spiced harvest cider, pumpkin, and red apple. This is probably one of my favorite, um, scents. That they have done for the fall. I think I'm just like this is part of like a harvest collection, probably two years, two or three years ago. Um, I didn't save the bar, but I do have some pods, and I have a set of pods in my collection. So I love that, um, and I I don't have a problem using what I have available, <laughs> whether it's the scent is in season or not. I have also switched out um, the hall out here in the apartment building, the pods from Pink Rhubarb Sugar. Can't see that because camera's weird. To the strawberry lemon cake, which actually I had in my car, but I couldn't, it wasn't really like, I would say like 60% of the scent was gone. So I just decided to move those pods into the hall and they have been out there for like I want to say maybe nine days or so and it's been doing pretty well so um my next party clothes i'm probably going to get another three pack of the strawberry lemon cake because i just i don't care if my car smells like cake i want it okay and that is it for the non-wax items 
Yes, we're going to do clams. Um, I finished up the, my bar of jo uh, jumping, jumping jelly bean from Scentsy. This is apple, pear, and I want to say sugar, like straight up sugar. This smells just like the pear flavored jelly beans. This was a scent that we had that they re-released for an Easter collection. And I snagged this in the round robin and I loved this. Thoroughly enjoyed. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, next up is Southern Evening. This has French lavender, geranium, musk, Some, something about this, and I think it's the geranium note. A lot of wax on my lip. Um, reminds me of fresh pencil shavings. I finally figured out what it was that it reminded me of. I do remember liking this when it came back for Bring Back My Bar. I'm going to say 2020. Um, that was probably the last time that this was available. I think out of this one, this roll around that they have for the bring back my bar i really enjoyed thunderstorm a lot more yeah it just reminds me of pencil shavings so um i think i think um summerhead gifted this to me it was nice to kind of walk down memory lane with it and it's performed at like a medium jumping jelly bean was like a, a strong like for i melted it only twice because <laughs> i used four cubes each time um to do in the bathroom because I changed out my warmer to a 25 watt bulb warmer and that is that is the solution to my non scented bathroom um, it did so well that I used a tester I think it's in here of summer holiday yeah and this is probably like maybe a half to two-thirds of a Scentsy cube and it blew this all over the hall and into my bedroom summer holiday is lovely too i think summer holiday has an amber i know it's got vanilla some sort of blossom um this is long retired but this is a very pretty scent i do still also have a room spray in this that i like to spray my sheets with so um enjoyed getting through that tester we have some more Scentsy testers in here, which were all supposed to be in a bag, but they, ooh, and another Scentsy bar. Okay, let me, just look at Scentsy bar. Um, Rum Plum Plum. This is Sweet Plum Jam, Vanilla Sugar, and Buttery Crust. This is in my club. I love this one. I love the crust note in this, and it's, so, it's a solid performer for me. I love this a lot more than Sweet Plum Pastry. I like coconut and I like marshmallow, but I just don't know if that combination with the pear or the plum is my jam. So, uh, rum plum plum is though, and I am here for it. Very glad I have that in my club. Three testers. I did, I think all at one time in my kitchen, I did a tester of pina colada cha-cha, Havana cabana, and pineapple pucker. So Pina Colada Cha Cha and Havana Cabana are still available in the catalog, but they retired Pineapple Pucker, which was a very, oh, such a good pineapple scent. And they were, okay, maybe I shouldn't bash Scentsy, but they were not very wise in taking that out of the catalog. While I do appreciate the pineapple scents we do have, um, I like pineapple to be more authentic and Pineapple Pucker was that for me. Havana Cabana has like um, banana, pineapple, and berries, I think. And then Pina Colada Cha Cha is more of like a creamy coconut pineapple. I'm not really a, a fan of either of those. So I was just trying to get through some of those older testers I have squirreled away. Let me make sure I have no other testers from Scentsy in here. I do not. Okay, on to vendor clams. Make sure I 
sure because I actually have melted a lot of my stuff. Um, personal pours and then also stuff that I had released in the shop. So we'll get to those last. Um, I did finish off this half. It was like a half clam worth of Kauai Sunset from Teddy B's. This is stunning. Uh, Arabian Jasmine, toasted coconuts and cream, and passion fruit, and hints of guava and orange. If you ever see this, I recommend snagging it. Um, for me, it was solid performer. I um, I would say you would definitely get the tropical notes of the passion fruit, guava, and the orange. But then the toasted coconut and cream toned down the sharpness and the zing. Because tropical fruits can do that. Um, I don't recall like the Arabian Jasmine. I need to like see if I can get that note by itself just so I can know how to pick it out. But this is definitely coconut with the fruits and this was stunning. I had melted, well see these cubes are, it comes with eight. So I had cut these cubes in half and I did one half in each of my tea lights and one half on my desk and maybe another half on a warmer on this side of the living room which is like the furthest warmer to the space um and it, it went for hours i would say If I had let it go, it probably would have gone for at least 24 or so. And I don't turn off my warmers. My tea lights, I mean, the candles will burn out. I have eight hour candles, so. Um, but even in the tea lights, it was it was fantastic. Loved that. I would definitely want to get that again. And I need, I need these clamshells. Okay, I know I did. Another Teddy Bees. Um, I had cut off a sliver off of my Witches Be Crazy for Beach Streets that I had recently gotten. Um, I'd say probably about like two and a half ounces or so. This is so good. I'm so glad I got two tubs in this scent. It's birthday cake, pecan waffles, like a hint of cinnamon, spice, vanilla. I want to say dough maybe sugar cookie dough and her beach treats solid medium medium strong for me in this space like I had mentioned again I live in an apartment so my open concept is not gonna be like big homes with real open concepts I really shouldn't even call it an open concept we'll just say the living room dining room or like here <laughs> Then I have a door to the hall that we block off so that the other side where the bedrooms and bathroom are can cool down with that air conditioner and this side is cooled with the wall unit here. Um, but it scented everything beautifully. I am so glad I got more of this and I would definitely get another beach, which is be crazy blend. the shuffling okay one day in all my warmers I cut up two scent shot cups worth of blueberry monkey bread by candles by Victoria and blue bakery by fantasy wax melts which is blueberry and zucchini bread uh, cut these both in eight pieces and I did all the warmers out here and it was a beautiful blueberry bakery day um I would say maybe like a eight out of ten in performance and throw um Blueberry is one of those that I have to be in the mood for so it's not something I just like want in my warmers all day long But I do enjoy blueberry during the day Another little it was a sample and creamy zucchini from the pharmacist daughter This is like boardwalk marshmallow clouds and zucchini bread and I want to say maybe a creamy vanilla I Wanted to like this But I think I prefer this without the zucchini bread but I'm sure this one's very popular from what I've seen um, it just it's just not for me and that's okay not everything's gonna be for me 
Ooh, we're going to talk about this. This was a mix I did of another Teddy Bees. This is like a, I'm going to say like a third of the loaf, loaf that I got in the round robin of patisserie. Um, which I want to say is warm donuts, almond cream, filling, bread. What is in this? It's just a very bready fried dough type of scent. And I mixed it with some pieces from Ava's Country Cupboard of Dreamy Lavender to give me lavender patisserie vibes. <laughs> Ever since I had that scent um, from Stephanie, she had gifted it to me. like, And it was like, in a clam about this size. I was looking for something similar and I was just digging in my stash one day. I'm like, ah, I want to mix these and see if it gave me the same vibe. It was delicious. I used this in the evening. I actually melted it twice and I think it was within two days of the same or I melted it two times in two days. <laughs> it was just so good. Lavender and bakery go well together and even bread and donuts. So I would definitely get that again. She offers lavender patisserie in the next pre-order. I think I need a loaf because it's just so good. I can't wait to see what's going to be offered. Okay. Yesterday I finished up this um, chunky bunt muffin. Chunky bunt? I think it was a chunky bunt, not a muffin. <laughs> Strawberry pound cake from Knowles Farm Scents. This is solid. I got um, immediate throw probably, I like put this in, I have eight warmers out here now and the two tea lights. So 10 warmers. <laughs> I put some in one tea light, but then I filled all the Scentsy warmers out here and it was solid. Um, I put it in around, we'll say 8.30, cause I slept in until eight yesterday, which is, it never happens. Um, and I could still smell it around 6 to 7 o'clock that evening. I would definitely recommend Noel's Farm Strawberry Pound Cake. It was delicious. Okay. Finish off two souffles from my recent orders from Teddy B's because I couldn't help myself and they were doing very well for me. First one is first of her name. I freaking love this. This is whipped vanilla citrus infused cream, white blossoms, decadent lemon cakes, candied lime, and vanilla sugar. This was just a show stopper for me. This, I normally don't gravitate towards anything with white florals in it, but something about the bakery mixing with the white florals in this was beautiful. I love citrus. This was strong. It went well for me. I did this in my bedroom. Also melted some out here. I would wear this. <laughs> I would wear this. I would love for Tiffany to get into body care. If I could just get her, if we could just like motivate her to do body sprays or even roll-ons, that would be awesome. But also... I completely understand the hesitation. I would definitely repurchase this. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you like Citrus Bakery and you don't mind a floral note. Next up, I couldn't <laughs> finish off my souffle and Sadie. Love this. This is Salty Sea Air, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Toasted Marshmallows. I, I need... I need to get more of this. This is so good. I actually melted this in my kitchen. All the warmers out here for yesterday. Was it yesterday? Friday after work. And then um, that went for, I want to say eight hours. No, no, no. So the overnight, we'll say 12 hours. And then I was ready to change it out. But the kitchen one has been in there all weekend. And you can still kind of smell it. And that's what, since Friday night? today is Sunday so almost two whole days I highly recommend if you like salty sear and sweet notes mixed together okay I 
did this winter snow globe from Dessa's Homespun Scents um, for a nighttime melt earlier this week. This is sugar cookies, vanilla bean noel, gooey marshmallow, crushed candy cane, and white chocolate drizzle. I did this um, in the two tea lights and then like two warmers for like an evening melt. And it was a definitely a sweeter type scent and lighter on the candy cane, which I'm okay with. I do enjoy like a more intense peppermint also. Um, I would definitely get that again though. This was so good. I did the rest. I, I think I melted this once. I got like four souffles or five souffles. Four souffles in a tub. Or three souffles in a tub from the pharmacist's daughter. I'm so sorry. This is Sweetheart, which is strawberry white cake, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and sugar cookie dough. 10 out of 10. Would get this again. Then 10 out of 10 in performance for me. This strawberry white cake has definitely like the muddled strawberries note. Not the fresh picked strawberries or like that artificial strawberries and I enjoy cupcakes at Tiffany's where you get like the creamy decadent cake with a little hint of chocolate and toffee is fantastic. Anything else from vendors? Yes. Okay. I also finished off this heart. It was like a heart shape of Stupid Cupid from Fantasy Wax Melts which is sugar cookie royale and strawberry with pretzel. Um, this is probably be like a 4 out of 10 in throw for me, and also scent appeal would maybe be like a 6. I'm just struggling with pretzel and cookies. I'm still working on finding the ones that I enjoy, like the blends that I enjoy the most with pretzel. I don't remember when I melted this, but this is a sample that I got from 38 Cents and Peeps. Cute, light, fluffy uh, marshmallow bunny. Fluffy. <laughs> but it's fluffy in scent. Very sweet, very marshmallowy. I enjoyed that. Um, and an overnight melt. And I don't remember warming this, so that's why. Um, this is Eight Crazy Nights Roasted Chestnuts and Campfire Mallow from L3 Waxy Wonders. I think Eight Crazy Nights has, like, black berry jelly fried donut palo santo maybe um it was kind of perfumey to me so i didn't enjoy that one all that much that's okay another fantasy wax melts that i finished this was the snap bar and rita skeeter which is strawberry shortcake and vanilla pound cake i think i got maybe maybe a medium out of that it wouldn't it wouldn't blast you out of the house but it was delightful Okay. And then, um, from Cindy, I melted actually this today. This is from Webby's Wax, which is in Amish Friendship Red. This was like two crawler shapes that I cut in four. So I have those going, um, in warmers that I don't have the wedding cakes from Lavender Speckles, but that's not an empty. I still have three bunks left very nice combination it's like the apple note in the Amish from friendship bread it goes very well with the bourbon note the bourbon marshmallows that I'm getting from the wedding cake so loving that okay and that is it for vendor I do have wax here that I poured myself and got through oh one more vendor um I think I did this in the kitchen this is waxy taffy cherry swirled cheesecake this is very strong on that cherry. I didn't get much of the creaminess of the cheesecake. But it's so pretty. Um, I would definitely get something like that again. Okay. And then on to my stuff that I poured. So I did a couple test test blends and then also they were like messy ones that I just kept for personal use um this one is a, a clam that I did of strawberry jam I was trying to find my ideal strawberry jam scent and this is it and it performed very very well it's definitely that muddled macerated strawberry and sugar 
Um, so I probably got 10 to 12 hours of performance in this at a solid medium, medium strong. I'm very happy with that. And I like my goal is to be able to get like at least 16 ounce bottles in all of the oils, but I'm also limited on space and limited on money. So, <laughs> um, but I do have a little bit of that, um, to play with next. This is a test one. This was a test one. Um, and this was actually before I had labeled everything. This was, um, the test blend in Raz Upside Down, which is pineapple upside down cake, raspberry lemonade, lemon icebox cookies, and fresh picked raspberries. I love how this turned out. I get the raspberry kind of like in the background. The lemonade part of the raspberry lemonade brings up more of that lemon in the lemon icebox cookies. And then that pineapple upside down cake just brings them all together. And the sweet, juicy, bakery medley it's fantastic I'm very happy with how that turned out and i hope those who picked it up enjoy it as well another one that i love and i'm so glad i made <laughs> because it turned out solid um is layla and this is mul mulberries fresh linens and salty sea air i was very surprised i was just trying to pick like a fruit or berry to mix with this linen oil that I had, and I had some salty sea air left over from making s'mores by the ocean. This is so good. I melted this in the bathroom. I've also melted it out here in the open area, and it did very, very well. I love how I pick up the blueberries, the blueberries, the mulberries, and the salty sea air. And the linens actually take, for me, it's more in the background, but it's still blended well enough where you can still pick it out, but it doesn't smack you in the face. I'm here for fruit and la uh, laundry. Um, I did this twice. Two cubes in the bathroom and then also melted four cubes out here. And this is my blend in Barnabas, which is essentially the Johnny Depp SES type mixed with pink frosted animal crackers together. After cure time, that animal cracker helps a lot you can actually smell it compared to how it was when I first poured it because otherwise you get smacked in the face with beautiful sexiness of the um, the notes in Johnny Depp which is patchouli cedar vetiver labdomum frankincense and then you get the animal crackers but the longer you let this set the more those animal crackers develop within this and it was much more enjoyable to say maybe someone who doesn't really dig like the masculine type sense but if you like those masculine type sense this did very well so uh, I would say it was it's strong at the gate but then of course it tapers down I'd say probably around the five six hour mark and then you are still left with like a medium performance in that clone sexy Johnny Depp type vibe I love that scent. <laughs> um, then this very messy clam. You can see I have a port it and it just was going to take too much to clean up. So I just kept it for myself. Um, this is, they call me Mellow Yellow, which is lemon meringue, lemon chiffon type, and coconut cream pie. Now, anyone who knows in the Scentsy world what I was trying to compliment, but not duplicate. Okay, we're just going to say that. This gave me the lemon coconut creamy vibes. And I actually think I like the lemon ring oil better than the lemon chiffon, but this was still fantastic. A great variation on a lemon bakery. And I love, I loved how that one turned out. Another one that I loved. I, I wouldn't pour something that I don't love really, but also I'm not pouring just for me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to remember that. Um, this was a test clam or a leftover of I'm a statue if you like cookies. And this is pistachio pudding coconut cake, iced almond cookies, white cake, and zucchini bread. I love how this one came out too. You definitely get the nuttiness from. Okay, so basically, pistachio pudding cake and pistachio dream cake I mixed together along with the other notes. For me, I pick out the pistachio, which it is a cherry-leaning pistachio, but then I also get the nutty nuttiness 
from the pistachio dream cake. Little hint of the coconut. I pick up the almond cookies. And then it just has a hint of the zucchini bread. I, I don't like a very heavy zucchini bread mixed with like all these other ones. Because other, other than that, I feel like it gets can get bogged down a little bit and I don't want you all to feel bogged down by bakery scent so this was this one did pretty well for me out here and I really do like how that one came out as well um huh. I wanted to melt this and I had like a lot of samples of this that I poured so this is just vanilla valentine this is beautiful this is a creamy vanilla with a little hint of musk a little saltiness and this is fantastic as a mixer or by itself. Um, yeah, I want to get a big bottle of that one so I can have that on hand. I don't have a label on this, but this is an eight cube clam. Let's see. Oh, this one was of chocolate chip cookies and pink frosted animal cookies. I had some... I had poured basically I, the bottom half of this was the animal frosted cookies and then I wanted to use up because I was craving I wanted to use up some it was like a half bottle of um, a chocolate chip cookie oil that I poured for my sister and I this and I have been craving chocolate and wax I normally am not that person but something about my nose has changed to where I am appreciating it even more and I want to say it was all the brownie batter tester's fault because it melted that one day and it smelled like a fresh bowl of brownie batter that you just mixed up and are about to put in the oven to ba bake and yeah that spawned this whole thing so um, if you like chocolate chip cookies, not only to eat, but to smell <laughs> in wax form, um, this was very surprising. And I may, I have some plans to do like a cookie sampler and they will just be like single oils. And I think it would be fun just to be able to be like, you can kind of have an idea as to what oil you're smelling in blends and just have it available and you can use it with whatever or enjoy on its own. I have no idea what my phone is doing. It just gave me a warning and I don't know. Um, this was like a tart of my first pour s'mores by the ocean. This is salty sea air, toasted marshmallow, two other marshmallow oils and a hint of s'mores, but you definitely get the chocolate note in the s'mores note. Um, I love how that one turned out. For me, it does very well in the tea lights and also the 25 watt Scentsy warmer. So keep that in mind um i have another little piece here oh this was strawberry pound cake marshmallow fireside and palo santo love that combination <laughs> this was a personal pour this was like a test of like the strawberry macaron and vanilla whip oil i had actually mixed that with something with zucchini bread one day it was a strawberry zucchini blend I didn't finish it clearly, otherwise it would be in here, but this added an extra strawberry note. I appreciate how well this did curing because the when I first melted it, and this was poured in October, um, it smelled like strawberry chapstick to me. But now that with the cure time, that vanilla note kind of developed more, um, it kind of gave me like strawberry starburst vibes. This one was a pour I did. This was like a tart of a key lime, frosted lime cupcake, strawberry pound cake, and baked pie crust. 10 out of 10 in strength, performance, longevity, I would say probably 12 hours or so, maybe 10 to 12 hour mark. And then it started to like teeter off and then not much was left after that. Even with the bakery notes, it just kind of fizzled out. So, but it was strong while it lasted. Um, and then this was a strawberry pound cake, pink frosted animal cookies, and lemon icebox cookies blend that I made up for my sister and I. Um, I just wanted to mix those three oils, and it sounded fantastic. Um, and with, it's definitely, like, cure time is, it makes a huge difference in wax, because when I first poured it, all I smelled was animal crackers. Animal crackers. <laughs> but with in a month 
that I got more of the strawberry pound cake. And then even though it said that lemon ice box cookies, and they were all poured in in equal ratios with the wax. So it really does go to show you that Cure Time does change the profile. Yeah, so highly recommend um, curing your wax. So that is it, you guys. That is all that I've gotten through this week. I thank you so much for spending some time with me. Um, I will catch you in the next one soon. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic work week. And um, I can't believe this month is almost over. All right. That is it, you guys. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.